In this video, I'll be comparing all the artifact main set combinations for both Gilded Dreams and Deepwood and also be comparing the two artifact sets and the two piece sets against each other. After the comparison, I'll be explaining the artifacts on Nahida and how to build it properly using the best artifacts for her. Also, you might not understand what these number differences mean as one set having more damage doesn't mean it's a better set for you. There are a lot of factors which I'll talk about later after the comparison so make sure you watch that part or else you might not have any idea with what you're doing and make the wrong decision. First will be the Deepwood comparison, then the Gilded Dreams comparison, and finally the comparison against Deepwood, Gilded Dreams, and the 2P sets. First we have a full Deepwood EM build, then a build with 2 EM pieces and crit, then again 2 EM pieces but this time a Dendro Damage Bonus Goblet, and finally a build with only 1 EM piece with a Dendro Damage Bonus Goblet and a crit free circlet. So let's start the comparison. Now here the EM isn't really that important because first of all there's no reactions, and second her passive only buffs her Trikarma, and so as you can see it's not that good. And then for her normal attack with reactions, now here the EM might be a bit better, but nope, it's not. It's again really, really bad, and it does the worst against the, all the other options. So here too, the last one is the best. And now this is for her skill. Now one thing to note is that the difference between the second variation and the third variation is not that high. Like there's basically no difference, so you can either go crit rate or damage bonus depending on your needs. Now for the Tri-Karma. Now here you might think that the EM build might do better because it actually gets buffed, but unfortunately no. I guess it's just that after you reach that 1000 EM threshold, it's just not good. So you should go for the other variations if you have enough EM. Now for Tri-Karma with spread. Now here again, it's the same thing with the last variant doing a lot better, which is kind of surprising to me. I thought the 600 EM would not be this good, but I guess it is. But still, I think getting 1000 EM or close to it is really important. Now for the Gilded Dreams comparison. Now by 1000 EM, it doesn't mean that the character has 1000 EM. It has more than that. It's basically 1000 EM without the 2-piece bonus and the 4-piece bonus. So I tried to make it a bit more fair. So I had the substats and main stats be almost exact with the other artifact sets. And that's why I'm writing it down here here as 1000 em and not the exact value anyways let's start the comparison this is for her normal attacks here too it's exactly the same thing with you know the last variant doing a lot better than the other ones and the middle two doing exactly the same now for normal attack plus spread now here she's definitely going above 1100 em which is not required you don't have to go above 1000 just be close to 1000 now for her skill again it's the same thing and the triple em is doing very very bad i mean if you go back and see for you know deepwood it did a lot better. I mean, it did have more crit damage, but over here, this is just really, really bad. Now for the trial Lakshana. Now here, I did something different for the second and third variation. For the second variation, I applied Hydro and then applied Dendro. So now she got the uh, four-piece bonus from Gilded Dreams. And as you can see, she does 8,999, whereas for the third variation, only 7,200. Now for Dry Lakshana with spread. Now here you'll see the first variation and the fourth variation. The difference between them is huge. Why? Because even though she's above 1000 EM for the first variation, it's kind of useless. Now for Gilded Dreams versus Deepwood versus the 2P sets. All these sets have similar stats. Like this is a new Deepwood set to match with the others. It's basically just between their 4 piece and 2 piece bonuses. So this is for normal attacks. Now here you're gonna see Deepwood do a lot worse which makes sense because the EM doesn't really do anything without reactions. But even a bit spread for her normal attacks. Again here too Gilded Dream just doesn't do that much. The other two sets do a lot better with the last one doing really really good. Now for her skill. Now here you're gonna see the last one do decent as well but from the next one with you know her Tri-Karma it's not gonna be that great because now they have their 4 piece bonuses. Now for the Tri-Karma you're gonna see Diva do a lot better because now it has the 4 piece bonus and Guild of Dreams does the worst with the last one doing a bit better than Guild Dreams but yeah Diva is really good for this. Now for Tri-Karma with Spread, Guild of Dreams actually does end up doing a lot more damage than the other ones by a lot more i mean a little bit more but it's still a really good set i'll tell you more about this after the comparison so we saw how the last variation with the dendro goblet and the crit circlet did the best in terms of damage and as these were test builds i only had 600 em with them but you can probably get more but it may not always be the best like for example in a team where your nahida has the most em your active character whoever may that be will get 250 em which is a lot of em if nahida has 1000 em but if she has only 600 em you're losing out on a lot of damage for your active character which will most likely be the main dps it should be fine if you have another character that has more than nahida but it's something to be careful about I think the way you should build your Nahida is aim for the hybrid build. So start with your flower and feather, try to get as much EM and crit you can, 
and a good weapon and then check how much you have if you think you can reach up to 900 em then go for the hybrid build which is very unlikely except maybe if you're using gilded dreams and have a five star em weapon so usually i think most of you will be using two em pieces with either crit or dendro which is good even if the damage isn't the best you're forgetting that nahida isn't a dps she's a sub dps and more importantly an amazing dendro support that provides your character with a lot of damage between deeper and gilded dreams the most stronger artifact for her is gilded dreams but only if you have another character using deep foot in your team which cuts out a lot of teams and so most of you will probably just use deep foot but if you can have someone else in your team use deep foot then use gilded dreams uh so someone like kokomi or maybe even if you have another dendro character then you can use gilded dreams on her but usually deep foot is just a really good option so just use that but using gilded dreams is also not that bad as you saw gilded dreams when you know it's a spread reaction does a bit better and also provides nahida with a lot of em which means you can switch out an em piece for another piece like for example if i had a deep wood a set with triple em and the kill the dream set with triple em which you probably won't let's say you have enough em like you're going above 1200 or something like that you can switch out either two em pieces or one and your damage will probably be really close to or maybe even better than you know the triple em deep wood set and like if you're having a lot of trouble getting a good EM piece for Deep Wood, then just use Gilded Dreams. You'll get your EM and you know, which is really important for Nahida as a support. So basically both Gilded Dreams and Deep Wood are solid choices. Now between using crit or dendro damage bonus, I think they're both pretty similar. I think it just firstly depends on the pieces you have. Maybe you have an EM goblet, but not an EM circuit. So you can go crit, but damage bonus if the opposite is true, or maybe one of your pieces has a lot of good substats, then you may want to choose that. Now something to note about her playstyles, Nahida can be used as both an on-field and off-field applicator. In both cases, she's really good, and she applies more dendro when she's on-field, as she is a catalyst user. All her attacks are dendro, so usually I think you'll maybe have her on field for bloom to create more seeds uh, but that's not all you can literally put her in almost all teams that require a dendro character and she does exceptionally good both her damage and application is just on another level also now that we have a burst better than ethers which doesn't explode when in contact with pyro uh you know virgin teams are a lot stronger too like she's doing close to 30,000 damage with like a thousand em so in fridge teams where you could probably go something like this and have kokomi use deep wood and nahida on kill dreams your team will hit really really hard anyways if you're curious about any of the builds that were shown just ask me down in the comments and I'll tell you. Anyways, that's all I have to say and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.